The man who shot and killed her son was found not guilty by a jury. We're now hearing from the mother of Tyler Lackey, who is reeling from the news as she continues to grapple with the loss of her son. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has the story. I've never even pretended to want justice. There isn't any. But now, that seems even further away for Liz Frank. There's nothing anybody can say or do. He's not going to feel the pain that I've been through with my family. It was 2016 when her son, Tyler Lackey, was at an ATM and Matthew Chavez tried to rob him. According to witness testimony, Lackey took out his gun, which he had legally, and Chavez shot and killed him, then drove off and later set the stolen car he was driving on fire. In 2018, Chavez was convicted of second degree murder and sentenced to 23 and a half years. But that all changed this week after Chavez appealed his conviction and had a retrial. We'd already spent four days in the courtroom watching the video of my son getting hit by two bullets and falling to the ground while Chavez drove off. And to think that I was going to have to do it again was, it, it left me kind of dysfunctional for a while. Chavez was claiming self-defense and this jury agreed. We find the defendant not guilty of second degree murder as charged in count one. We find the defendant not guilty of voluntary manslaughter as charged as the lesser included of count one. The jury only finding him guilty of tampering with evidence and conspiracy to tamper with evidence. Twelve people said that it was acceptable for my son to be shot dead twice and it was unacceptable to burn up a car. It's still hard to process. She questions what was and wasn't allowed in court this time around. There were a lot of surprises. Including not allowing prosecution to mention Lackey's military service and Chavez's previous convictions. She also questions what she calls a loophole in New Mexico law that allows someone who started out as the aggressor to claim self-defense. He didn't have to shoot. Mm -hmm. And if he was scared of, you know, guns getting pointed at him, then maybe he should have not committed armed robbery and got a job. There have been efforts in Tyler Lackey's name to change this law, but they've never passed. What does it do to any healing that you've been able to do in the past few years? I kind of have to start over. Remembering Tyler as a son with a sense of humor and a loving brother who left his station in Germany to take care of his half-sister. He crossed an ocean and a continent to save his little sister. So that's who Tyler was. Annalie Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. Today we asked the New Mexico Department of Justice if they would push to bring back Tyler Lackey's bill that would not allow an initial aggressor to claim self-defense. A spokesperson said they are still evaluating which bills they'd like to advocate for in the upcoming special session on public safety.